we are going to make a mistletoes craft today. For today's craft, you need one canvas, gold, red, and green acrylic paint, and paint brushes, plus a child with a couple cute feet. First, we are going to paint Christopher's little feeties green, and then we are going to stamp them on a, what's that thing called? Canvas. Canvas. Yeah. Feeties, please. So I'm going to put the canvas up here because it's easier to stamp their feet at this angle. And now the green little feeties for our mistletoes. It's not bad. <gasps> Yay! He looks terrified. That wasn't so bad. Clean up those piggies because it's nap time. Now that Christopher's footprints have dried, I am going to decorate our mistletoes. First, I'm going to start by adding a ribbon with a bow that's going to come down from the top and go around his heel. There we go, and now I will fill them in and they will look much better. Okay, my bows are all finished now, and I'm going to write mistletoes in red. Um, I practiced it on the paper first, hoping it comes out decently good. Um, I'm just gonna eyeball it, so we'll see how it goes. Here's my rough sketch of it and I'm gonna go back and fill it all in and I'm excited that I got it to all fit I didn't run out of room I almost had too much room at the end but I think I'll make it work okay I finished writing mistletoes it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to my L and T got a little weird this T got a little fat but it'll do not horrible now the last step is going to be adding gold polka dots I'm just gonna randomly add them on the page and put a couple going off the edge. Maybe try to get one over here where the smear is. Um, just to kind of add a little bit to the background. Although this paintbrush is a little bit crunchy, so I need to go get a different one. I finished all of my gold polka dots, and now Christopher's cute little mistletoes craft is finished. All you have to do is display it in your house.